Welcome to the video. Now we will install Wazoo. You can see Wazoo is a security platform that provides unified XDR and SIM protection for endpoints and cloud workloads. So it's a quick start. Wazoo documentation. I will scroll down. Okay, you can see uh, this is the hardware requirement. Isn't if you are using 1 to 25, you need four vCPUs, 8 GB minimum RAM, and storage 50 GB. And if you're using Isn't 25 to 50 Isn't, so you need uh, around 100 GB of storage for 90, 90 days. And if you're using more than 50 to 100 Isn'ts, that means you will install Wazoo Isn't in remote systems and servers and from there wazoo will monitor those system and alert you in case of any cyber incident cyber attack so operating system wazoo requires amazon linux 2 red hat ubuntu centos so to install wazoo we need to uh, copy this command using c url we will install uh wazoo and then once the instant uh, assistant finished the installation the output shows the access uh, you will see a similar output like this and you should uh, also provide with the username and password and the information will be installation finished so let's start the installation process so i have started the quick start wazoo installation steps uh, from the official op document uh, official website where there is the documentation i use the curl and this uh, copy paste from the website i'll just show you in a while and then uh, because it requires no uh, some there is a hardware uh, system check uh, that i actually ignored with minus i option so soon i hope uh, the installation will be complete and then i will show you the further steps and this is uh, what i did actually where you can find it in the quick start i just copied this and then i'm in that step actually so after the installation is finished i should see a similar notification in my terminal info installation finished and then i can access wazoo uh, web interface using the ip address of my uh, machine i'm using kali linux at present this is the process actually and that is what i'm doing i'm following quick start so there are other alternate installation methods as well you can check uh, the documentation for more information and now let me return to the terminal and see the status uh, this machine is little slow actually so it's still uh, that process is going on i'll pause the video and when it is complete i will uh, continue from there okay so the installation is complete the username is uh, always admin by default and the password is generated by uh, automatically after the installation and i can access the web interface uh, using the wazoo dashboard ip address so for me i just did if config and i did i found my ip address which is uh, my private ip address which is 194.163.140.38 for this kali linux machine and i have typed the same in a new tab using https and then now i will uh, visit this url and when you visit for the first time you are using https so you will get a potential security risk ahead uh, i will just click on advance and then uh, after clicking advance i will just uh, accept the risk and continue now wazoo is loading as you can see i'm in my kali linux machine and the username is admin by default and 
this is how actually I will log into my Wazoo dashboard and the password I have already copied and which was generated after the installation uh, in a, in the terminal that you need to copy actually and save it properly so here I don't want to save it I'll click on never save in my browser and now it's loading So I'm almost logged in and you can see this is the Waju. Uh, it's like doing health check. I've done the first installation and I've logged in for the first time and you can see uh, it's uh, automatically doing the health check. Now I'm presented with this screen. I don't have any agent but I can add agents and then uh, monitor using this uh, dashboard. So in my upcoming video, I will just uh, give you more demonstration on how we can set up, how we can add agent and get logs using Filebit and so on. So thanks for watching. I will end the video here.